shots 10, 11, 10 or 11 frames per second, so it's, it's not the true video rate yet. It's getting um, but it's, it's, it's enough to show some quite complex animation effects. It's a, a lot of use in, for example, user interface concepts, um, so to actually make nice, nice, much more animated user interfaces that are a lot nicer to use and work with. Um, this is, this is a, a key piece of work with a device that had the screen in and you, you browsed, browsed on the web and, and, and found a site. Uh, you'd be able to replay uh, simple flash content from it pretty effectively. Um, so this is, what, what is it precisely? After we go, we start sacrificing some contrast and this is just a, a, a setting that we really picked. Cool. And again, is that something that over time you're going to be able to improve, so that you'll be able to get that frame rate up? Or is you again, that's, I mean, that, that's something that, that we're working on and also um, our partners who provide the media are very interested in doing as well. Because that's again, it's one, another piece of hope for us is to, is to be able to get the electrophoretic media to, to work in that way. Um, I mean, one thing this does demonstrate is that our our backplane technology.